Welcome back to the vlog. Um, important first update. You know, I really <laughs> should um, actually properly finish this. I still have ends to weave in. Uh, but other than that, my first knit top is complete. It's not perfect, but it is complete. I don't really know how much I'm gonna actually get wear out of this I'm gonna get, cause I don't like love it how it fits. Let me just show you. Here it is on. I think it might be a bit too see-through um, without a bra to properly show you. <laughs> but here is the full top. I feel like I just don't necessarily like love this neckline on me. And also, lesson learned, I did not cast off loose enough. So the edges are pretty tight. Like they don't have a lot of stretch to them. Whereas my bottom hem, I had properly loose. Oh well, every project is practice. Otherwise, I don't have much to update you on, um, I don't think. I had a really good camping trip on the weekend. We went camping from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, part of that was uh, ourselves, and then part of that we had friends join us. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. I did some hiking, did some card playing, and chilling by the fire, and lots of reading. So yeah, that was fun. I'm kind of busy this week with um, design work. Uh, I wanted to start the vlog yesterday, but I just like literally sat at my desk all day um, doing stuff. And I've also done the same today. Those are all the updates. That's all that comes to mind right now. I'm dressed and ready to go to softball. It is Tuesday after all. We have jerseys actually now, which I don't think you've seen before. We're Carly's Angels. Wish us luck. <laughs> I am spending the day at my desk um, working on some website development. And um, oh, we, <laughs> we lost our game yesterday. The other team was just like really good. <laughs> Um, and they've been playing together for like six years. Anyway, I, I'm working through a weird code issue that is very annoying. I have this little, you see these little hearts? It's supposed to do this. Which it is doing on the desktop, it's fine. Um, and even when I resize my screen to mobile on desktop, it works fine, but then on my phone, it doesn't overlap the way that it's supposed to. So that makes it hard for me to figure out what the code issue is because on my computer, I can open the code of every site and like see what's happening and then troubleshoot my issues from there. Um, but I don't know that I can do that on mobile. So I don't know where my issue is coming. So it's just a frustrating issue um, because I can't figure out what is actually happening here. I have an idea that I haven't looked into that we'll see if it works. I don't usually share tons of like my work because often it's like stuff that's like in progress for my clients so I don't want to uh, reveal things <laughs> and it's not generally like super interesting uh, <laughs> to like show really but basically I'm troubleshooting code this morning and then I'm developing another page of the website so we'll see what happens. I'll report back. <laughs> I fixed it. Wow. That took me a bit, um, but I fixed it. Now that that is done, I think I need to have some lunch. I made some Annie's shells um, and put some leftover ground beef in it. It's so good. Oh, delicious. And I'm of course watching Vanderpump Rules. I'm nearing the end of season eight. I'm so, I'm actually really ready <laughs> to 
to be done and caught up with the show. I've been at my desk all afternoon developing another page of the website and I am now done. It's just a bit after five. I kind of want to walk to the bookstore to get a book or a few. I feel really tired. My eyes just feel really tired today. I've been sleeping really weird the last few nights. I need to like go to bed early today. Okay, so I did end up going to the bookstore. I will report on that right away, but first I am currently being kept company by the um, Mit, uh, the coffee roaster. Mitch is roasting some coffee. Mitch has been roasting our coffee for years now. Orders green beans and roasts it and yeah, it's fun. Okay, book report time. I bought four books. I wish I didn't have um, self-restraint <laughs> sometimes because I just want to buy every beautiful book I see. But anyways, um, I went to the store to pick up Greedy notes from a bisexual who wants too much. I got this via ebook um, through the library and I started to read it and I was like, I love this. I want to own it and read the rest of it physically. So that's what I went for. And then I saw Bell Hooks's A Will to, Ch or The Will to Change, Men, Masculinity and Love. Um, I've seen this like all over TikTok and I've seen it recommended a bunch. So I'm really curious about it. And then I saw um, Christopher Polini, I don't know how to say his last name, released another book, Fractal Noise. Um, he wrote the Aragon series, which I grew up reading and absolutely loved. Also really liked his um, sci-fi release to sleep in a sea of stars. And this one is also a sci-fi one and it looks really cool and interesting. So got that. And then I got A History of My Brief Body. This is like a queer indigenous memoir. I saw Marley Grace recommend it and say that it was like one of the best book, like one of their favorite books in the world. I was like, okay, well then I need to read it. So it's pretty, it's a little one, but I'm excited. Like I said, I'm not feeling super high energy. Um, I'm also on like day 28 of my cycle. So it's just like that time of my cycle where I'm just kind of low energy. Um, so I think I'm going to spend the bulk of my evening reading. Um, I'm currently working on a day of fall and night, which is a bit of a beast, but I'm like a third of the way through. I'm not gonna do a full haul. I picked up some chicken salad because I am heading tonight to my friend's cabin for the weekend and I'm in charge of lunch. Um, so I'm bringing some chicken salad for chicken salad sandwiches. If you haven't tried the Costco queso, so good. They also have these prebiotic kind of sodas that I've never seen before that I wanna try. Sure, let's try lime one or the citrus one lemon lime it's not gonna be cold but okay yeah i need to finish putting out groceries and then i need to pack up for the cabin um i wasn't sure if i was gonna go because mitch can't come uh he's leaving for a work trip on Sunday morning. I'm, I've been in a weird mood the last couple days where I was like looking at my weekend, which I didn't have any plans for. I was just like, I'm not really in the mood to make any plans. Like, I don't, I don't really want to do anything, but I also don't want to be home all weekend. So going to a cabin and reading all weekend sounds perfect. <laughs> so I cut my hair and I just think it looks really nice, you know? <laughs> 
gotta finish putting this away. I'm interrupting the program with an important segment we call Between the Sheets. We're talking books. I have four books to update you on since the last, there's only three of them here, um, since our last edition. First up, I have The World We Make by N.K. Jemisin. This is like a fantasy, kind of like magical realism uh, duology. This is the second book in the duology. N.K. Jemisin is one of my favorite fantasy writers. Her writing feels so imaginative. So in the first book, basically what happens is New York City is coming alive, and each one of the boroughs and the city itself um, becomes like embodied in a person, an avatar. So there are a bunch of people who suddenly find themselves like representing their borough, and then they need to come together and fight an enemy to like save the city. Yeah, I don't know. It's so hard to explain. It's really interesting, really imaginative, and I think this duology is just like really unique and interesting. Next, I have The Intersectional Environmentalist, How to Dismantle Systems of Oppression to Protect People and Planet. This is a really good like beginner's guide, I would say, to environmentalism and its intersections with race and anti-racism, anti-oppression work, and I think it's a very like accessible place to start. It has like great design and it gets into like how protecting the planet is also specifically about protecting the people in it everyone next i have a crown of gilded bones this is the third book in the blood and ash series which is a romanticy series i don't have tons to say about this one just because it's like very mid series i guess i really enjoyed the first two i don't think this one is as good as the first two books specifically i really like the second book but if you like akatar you'll probably like this and then lastly i have wayward a memoir of spiritual warfare and sexual purity if you grew up in like evangelical christianity and took purity culture really seriously or were really impacted by purity culture this will be a great read for you you will not feel alone in your story if you read this but i mean also tread carefully if some of those wounds are very open still mostly follows alice's like growing up kind of like pre-teen to teen years and like how seriously she took her faith and religion and how that impacted her and then like gets into her deconstruction and kind of life after religion. I really related to this as a person who grew up in the church in purity culture, although like details about our experiences are different. Um, it felt very, parts of it have felt very similar. I thought it was a great memoir. Okay, that's it for this segment. Back to the program. <coughs> I get hiccups all the time. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go out for dinner. Um, Give you a little fit check. Oh my god. Lighting is not great. Oh. Oh, party shirt. Cute. You get, give, give us a close up. <laughs> oh, not that close. Oh, sorry. My bad. No, I just want to see the, the pattern like a little bit. <laughs> my shirt. It's a good little pattern. Cute. <laughs> the shirt I thrifted lately or recently in a vlog. And then these are my free label linen shorts. Um, actually, I need shoes. We were gonna bike to a spot, um, and then I, I looked into it, and they only sell 40 pizzas a night. 40? Yeah. So, um, I think they might be sold out by the time we get there, so we're going, we're pivoting, pivoting. Okay, so I'm doing the platform Mary Jane Doc Martens. And I am once again wearing the Space Cowboy eyeshadow from Urban Decay because it's perfect. Okay. Let's get pizza and then, nope, not pizza. We pivoted away from pizza. Um, burgers, maybe? Uh, and then I have to head out to the cabin. Okay, good morning from the cottage. Oh, maybe like that. Perfect. Yeah, we just got here late last night, hung out a little bit, and uh, went to bed. Yeah, the other two are, are just uh, still sleeping, so I'm chilling outside. I'm gonna read my book. Um, I've got three books on the go right now. I'm gonna be reading Greedy, which I talked to you about earlier. Um, and then I'm also reading Bad Cree, and I am reading a day of all night.
Ha, 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 ha.